So in the kingdom, the Research, Development, and Innovation Committee, led by His Royal Highness, worked on an innovation strategy that builds on the strength that Saudi Arabia has in the research community. Roughly 40,000 researchers today that are doing very well in terms of creating uh, top quality scientific articles or in, and filing for patents, but uh, could do a little bit better in terms of translating lab to market activities for innovation, especially that most of them were not uh, financially driven. They don't think about financial returns. And this is common around the world. Scientists do it because they're curious to pushing the boundaries of science. So. In Saudi Arabia, the innovation strategy worked on bringing the private sector closer to the lab and making sure that the transition is easier. And this is very difficult to do around the world. One thing we've done in my organization, King Abdelaziz City for Science and Technology, is to play a better role of opening up our applied research facilities that are production level to the uh, investor community, to the uh, private sector, to uh, scale up technologies that were invented in basic science from universities all the way through the applied level to something that's ready for an investor to invest in. So our labs today, uh, by a Council of Ministers decree, provide open access to the research community and to the private sector. Our main campus in Riyadh has been converted into a science park that allows for companies to sit walking distance from the labs. But the most exciting element we added was to uh, serve the deep tech community of entrepreneurs, building an accelerator and incubator called The Garage in CACS that's walking distance from 100 labs, that converted an old parking building that used to fit 480 cars to a space that can incubate up to 300 companies. And now we see deep tech companies from around the world coming to Riyadh, sitting, walking distance from those labs, working with our 3,000 scientists, taking uh, technologies, whether from the Saudi scientific community or from around the world to the Saudi market, eventually scaling up abroad. We've seen huge impact in less than two years of roughly 7,500 jobs being created from this accelerator with more of a valuation of roughly $2 billion combined for the company.